Hello everyone. It's not Saturday. It's Wednesday here in New Jersey. And today I'm gonna be making Guyana fruit cake. And these are all the ingredients I'm using. 12 egg. I got my baking powder here. I got um one tablespoon baking powder. I got my fruits, raisin, I got the black one and the yellow one. I got a pound of flour, a pound of sugar, some essence, almond essence, a nutmeg, and I have my butter here that I weigh on my scale over here. I put it on the, the wrap to put it on the scale. And I have my bowl here. I'm gonna start by uh, mixing the butter and the butter and the sugar together. So let's get going. So guys, I'm adding in my butter. And then follow with my pound of sugar. Give this a nice whisk. As you can see, I'm using the, the brown sugar because I feel like it's more rich in taste. Coming together nicely, you see? Can you see how nice it's coming along, Jen? Yes. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get all this greatness in here. Okay. Get that with my hand. And I'm gonna use the machine. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be whisking this away. After whisk, whisking it away to give it the love portion, you see how smooth this is? That's that's what you want, right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to set this aside and get cracking with the egg. So guys, let's get going with these eggs. What I'm also going to do is, I'm going to take these stuff out. I don't like these in the egg. You're giving me a hard time to come out, Jen. Do you need that in the egg? No. I'm doing all 12 eggs because these are small eggs. They're not that big. I was trying to take those white stuff out, but it's giving me a hard time. So I'm just gonna to get out. So I guess I have to wash with it to see how much I can get out from it. Mm. 
Simply place the egg in this batter here. Just a nice stir. Uh, so you don't have a lot of flour in, and just in case if you add a lot, you um strain it and tap it. No, it is for me to have a smooth flour. Oh. So if there's any lumps and stuff, it's all gone. That's nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of it. all my ingredients my nutmeg I'm gonna go ahead and add in that too nicely and of course my cherry my raisin I'm gonna give it a nice stir first because I want to get all the flour off the side
also gonna add in a little bit like quarter spoon of brown in just to give them a nice pop flavor give it a nice stir What I did, I preheat my oven for 350 and now I'm going to butter the pan nicely. This is for to get the cake not to stick. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to simply place some flour inside and give it a little bit more. I want to get it on the side. get rid of the excess flour and now I'm gonna place my batter inside here Okay, I don't want to put more because I want to give it room for it to raise. As you can see, I um, simply preheat my oven for 350. I'm going to let it cook for like 25 minutes and then, and then I'm going to check on it. So guys, I'm here. Welcome back. So... After getting the cake for baking for a while, I'm going to take a, a toothpick and stick it inside. If it come out clean, that means it's finished. So here we go. Wow, it came out clean. You see? No stickiness, no nothing. Look at that. So here you go guys, this is my fruit cake. I'm gonna let it cool long for a little bit and then I'm gonna cut it. Smell delicious, simply easy to make. So guys, there you have it. My beautiful, beautiful fruit cake. Simple recipe. Do try my recipe. I did it very fast and easy, the way how we used to do it in Guyana. And if this is your first time here, if this is your first time stopping by, please decide or consider subscribing. Please share my video. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video.